Welcome to the 1099 ETC program. This tutorial covers instructions for e-filing the 941 forms in AMS payroll. Prior to e-filing for the first time, there are certain requirements that need to be completed. Each company is required to have an e-file signer PIN or be assigned to a reporting agent. An account for e-file services must be set up. This includes a username and password which will be used to log into a secure connection to transmit the data. And if the tax payment is included in the e-file, a payer's bank account must be set up. Please review the following videos for more information. 94X Setup 94X Pin Request for Individual Companies And 94X Banking Setup Information for Tax Payments At this point, all required 941 setup is complete. This includes the following. The payer is setup is complete, including the 941 signer PIN, banking information and the account for e-filing. And the payroll data has been entered. At the main menu of the program, select AMS Payroll. Select e-file and then 940X. Select Form 941. You will be able to print a copy of the form before e-filing. Select the print mode. You will want to keep a copy for your records. Click next. Select the quarter. Enter the prepare information. Click OK. Verify that all of the data is correct. Check e-file. Click OK to continue. Print or view the forms and once again verify that the data is correct. Click Quit to continue. Please review this statement and check I agree. Click OK. Verify that the tax payment is correct. And if you want to include it in the e file, click Yes. Please review the withdrawal consent. If you do not agree with it, click Cancel and the tax payment will not be included with the 941 e-file. The tax payment will need to be made separately from the e-file. For the purposes of this tutorial, we are including the tax payments. Click I agree. Verify that the banking information is correct. If the banking information has not been set up, please click Cancel. Go into Payer Edit and the Check, Maker tab and enter the bank routing number and the account information. Click OK to continue. When the process is complete click Continue. Click Yes to begin the e-file process. After clicking Start, if there are any errors, you will get a message that there are errors in transmission and the e-file process will stop. Click OK on the message to view the errors. The errors must be corrected. Once corrected, restart the e-file process again. For the purposes of this tutorial, there are no errors. Click Start. When there are no errors, the forms will be assigned a batch ID. Its status is unpaid. At this point, the third-party vendor has the forms, but until the batch is paid for, it is not sent to the IRS. To pay for the batch, check the box beside the batch number. Click Pay Selected Batches. If the batch is ready to be processed, confirm that the batch number is correct. Once Yes is clicked, the batch cannot be cancelled. Click Yes to continue. If there is no payment information, the credit card information will need to be set up on a secure website. Click Add Card. You will be directed to a secure website to set up the credit card information. Enter the information and click Submit. When the credit card information has been added, click OK. The accounts that have been set up, including credit cards and prepaid accounts, will be listed on the screen. Highlight the account to use. And click OK. At this point, the third-party vendor has received and accepted the payment information. Click OK. Once the payment is accepted, the status for the batch will become paid and the itemized status will now include invoice paid. 
The paid status indicates that the third-party vendor is processing the batch to submit to the IRS. There are several steps during the batch processing. Batch processing could be completed in a day or may take several weeks to complete. In order to update the status of the batch, click on the batch ID. For e-filing to the IRS or SSA, after invoice paid, the next status is filing queued, and then filing complete. Filing complete indicates that the IRS has the batch but the batch has not been processed yet. Filing accepted means that the IRS has processed the batch, and they have accepted them. The batch processing is complete. That is the end of the 941 e-filing service process. For further questions, please review the frequently asked questions on the AMS website. Or refer to the help files for additional information. Technical support can be reached by email, fax or phone. Thank you for using the 1099 Etc. program. Have a great day.